What's going on, Ophicus? Welcome to Ophicus and Me. I appreciate you guys today for stopping by. I appreciate you guys so very much. It is the 20th of August, 2023, and it's 10 14 p.m. right now where I am. It is Sunday. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. I'm in California, so we're dealing with all of the tropical storm, rain, weather, and all of that there. But all is well. Um, yeah. Hope you guys are well as well. Ah, so, appreciate you guys. You guys know that though, right? Love you guys. <laughs> you know that though, right? <laughs> Hope you do. I really do appreciate you guys. All of you guys, all the energy that you uh, give, and all the support that you give, and all the love that you give. I love it all. I appreciate it all. just want you guys to really know that. And um, if you're new here, what's up? How you doing? I appreciate you also. And uh, I do Oracle Index and three decks of Tarot. Okay, guys? So, let's get started. I'm going to use this deck today. I don't use it enough, so let's see what's what's good here. Let's see what we get today. One more time. At the bottom, this is so pretty. Connection link. All right. Let's see what we have here. Connection. All right. We have wholehearted bridge. It's like a totem pole there. You see. But let's read. And then, like, you got, like, some ancestors, some energy, people behind it. <clears throat> so let's read. Okay. All right. So it says here. To listen to what is inside me is to listen to the world around me. I listen to the wisdom of my body that tells me that the years have passed and that even though I haven't realized it, many times I still listen to life through the prism of my childhood. I now listen with awareness to the voice of my infancy, asking for my attention. I now listen with awareness to the voice of my adolescence, asking for my attention. I accept it, stored and accumulated painful memories during those years. I decide to heal my wounds with much love and delicate strength. Gently, with love, I approach my inner child and say, Forgive me for all the walls I had built around you. Thank you for being an important part of me, the part that I have not paid enough attention to. For all the pain, I am sorry and I ask your forgiveness. I care for you, I love you, and I admire your understanding in spite of all adversity. Thank you for your willingness to let go of these things. It says at the bottom here, sincerity. I am faithful to my own being. I tell myself the truth and that is how I take care of myself without judgment. Today, I recognize and embrace that 
pure and innocent being who dwells in me. I talk, I feel. I am finally listening to myself. And then it's a quote that says, the one who suffers is the child, not me. So basically, it's about tapping into the hurt parts of yourself that stem back, way back, into your younger years. And realize how you could be holding on to that hurt. Why are you still holding on to that hurt? And is it okay to let go of your hurt or to acknowledge it and find a way to put it away, put it to rest? And love yourself and realize that you were young, you know, you were trying to understand the world, you were trying to understand life, you were trying to understand. You were young, a child's mind which does not have as much understanding as it does now. Okay. One more time. You could be a little burnt out or stressed out or even exhausted at this time. One more. Maybe you drive a Cadillac, or you would like to drive a Cadillac. Do you have memories about when you were younger in a Cadillac? <laughs> my grandma drove a Cadillac all my years. Okay. One of my grandmothers. The other one drove a Mustang. <laughs> I think I said one more. I don't, I don't know. I'll do one more, one more round of those. Of these big ones. Okay. Maybe you're on the island or you like island like type vibe or you like the restaurant islands. I don't know, I always seem to just get these playlists that after a while, I don't, I'm not a real big East Coast rap fan. No disrespect to anybody. I like East Coast rappers, but I don't like all of them. And sometimes I just have to be in the mood to listen to East Coast rap. Excuse me. Maybe you're from Nepal. I would like to visit Nepal. Lack energy. Okay. One more. Something is second nature to you these days. One more. Well, I'm going to let them stay, whatever. You know exactly what to do. Okay, 
over the last step. Maybe your color is yellow. This is Amarillo and Espanol. I have it leave. Okay. Unstoppable. So I'm going to use the yellow deck first. One more. Surprise! What is a surprise? Okay, okay. Getting over some things from the past, letting things go, acknowledging your, that inner self, younger self. Perfect picture. He may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. You're very magnetic and magnificent. They want to marry you. It hurts so bad. You inspire them to be better. Pizza every Friday. The time is here. The time is now. They don't love me like you do. The answer. and I'm sorry. Inside is the answer. Don't search anywhere else they aren't for you it's okay feel free to be you 100 percent your dj or a party starter on here you love to travel new diet for a new you stay healthy don't be afraid of the unknown long hair or long locks and is your heart and mind aligned Time to wake up and pay attention. You have a big appetite. Thinking about the right time. Old neighborhood friends. Caution. Low vibrational people near. Results are coming in fast. Changes, I'm sorry, challenges won't stop you. I guess neither will changes. You know, challenges, changes, with the challenges, it change, so, yeah. Chocolate is his favorite. You're a weightlifter or a body builder, or you like lifting weights or something like that. Keep moving forward. Cheesecake with strawberry toppings. It sounds really good. They are full of themselves. Winter time. Online famous. What's up? Thank you for watching. It's never too late to begin anew. Maybe you're from Uruguay. Guadalupe. Indonesia. Georgia, Fiji, Nicaragua, Chile, Ecuador, Turks and Caicos, Thailand, St. Lucia, or San Diego. Free your mind. And the rest will follow as in Vogue.
Here you have the color purple, elevated to a new level. Call one of your elders, king of the castle. Maybe your color is brown. It's just a learning experience. Maybe you're into culinary arts. Going back for further education. Don't hesitate. Go for it. Came too far to turn back now. Maybe you're wanting to go and get your PhD, your doctor of philosophy. I've been looking for you, haven't you heard? That's Patrice Sebastian. You're single and ready to mingle out here because you've healed. Someone was too damn comfortable. Maybe also you could be from Argentina. New beginnings. You have been here before. Hmm. Old soul pump. Old soul. Maybe those are things that you're starting to understand now about yourself, you know. Maybe you couldn't understand, you know, those things about yourself when you were younger and why you stood out or something of that nature and people didn't understand you, you know, you were misunderstood or something like that, okay? So you, you maybe I learned how to isolate yourself at an early age, you know, and not really get too involved with people because they always misunderstood you or something like that. You know, or, or your elders, you would make a comment when elders are talking and like, stay in a child's place. You know, you're like, but I understand what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to give you some advice here, you know. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is for each one of you guys that this resonates with. You know what I mean? Um, but however. You know, um, addressing past hurts or things uh, that you uh, learned how to do, like building walls and protecting yourself from others and all those things, you know, it became like a, a habit or, you know, a subconscious thing without you really even totally being aware of how you, you know, how you may not address certain things or how you just brush stuff under rugs or however, okay? But let's just see what this week is about, okay? So, challenges won't stop you, okay? Free your mind and the rest will follow. Maybe your color is purple or brown. Going back for further education, don't hesitate, go for it, okay? Maybe you're into culinary arts and making things like cheesecake with strawberry toppings, okay? You've been here before, keep moving forward, you're online famous. It's never too late to go get your PhD, you came too far to turn back, now king of the castle. It was just a learning experience, new beginnings here. Time to wake up and pay attention. Go inside for the answer. Don't search anywhere else. Feel free to be you 100%. Okay. Call one of your elders. I've been looking for you. Haven't you? Maybe your old neighborhood friend was looking for you. Someone got too damn comfortable. You're single and ready to mingle and elevated to a new level, okay, because you have healed, results are coming in fast, and there's some low vibrational people here, so be aware, okay, new diet for new you, stay healthy, the time is here, the time is now, is your heart and your mind aligned, chocolate is his favorite, don't be afraid of the unknown, you inspire them to be better, maybe you're a weightlifter, Okay, they don't love me like you do. Pizza every Friday, they want to marry you. You're very magnetic and magnificent. Something is picture perfect. They aren't for you. It's okay. You're a DJ or a party starter. Did I say you're thinking about the right time? I think did. 
you love to travel. Something hurts so bad. And uh, you may not come when you want them, but you be there right on time. All right. Maybe you're from Nicaragua, Chile, Fiji, Fiji, Fiji <laughs> Ecuador, Georgia, Turkey, Caicos, Argentina, San Diego, Thailand, St. Lucia. And did I say Indonesia? I think I did. Uruguay or Kuwait. Okay. Something's going on in the winter time. And you have a big appetite. All right. All right. Here we go. One more time. Hold on. Let me do that one more time. The four swords card flipped over in my lap. Let's see. Four swords. You healed. You've had enough time throughout your years to heal. The two of Pentacles at the bottom. So that talks about for me. You looking at your life, past, present, and future. Trying to balance it all. Figure out what needs to go, what needs to stay. How did you end up this way? Why did you end up this way? Do you need to change some things? So I'm here with the two of wands coming out first, looking on to your future and which way you're going to move in this future, things that you want to do in your future. Um, it's never too late to start new, fresh, new start over, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You're not taking your time. You're not moving in slow motion. You're living your life. Having a good time. Knowing that there are new beginnings everywhere you turn. And here with the four cups. I'm figuring that you're just ignoring someone here. The four cups. You're not paying anybody any attention. You're not worried about it. Um... Or, or or there were some people that were trying to get into your space and you're just like, no. Maybe it hurt. Maybe it hurt too bad to be bothered with this person. These cards are tripping me out sometimes. Just doing too much. Uh, Oh, with the five of cups talks about disappointment. Like I just said, someone's doing too much or something like that. Um, what it talks about like your younger self, you know, like telling your younger self that. Hold on. I approach my inner child and say, forgive me for all the walls I built around you. Thank you for being an important part of me. It's part, a part that I have not paid enough attention to. Okay, right. Now you're listening to yourself asking, uh, the voice of your infancy asking for your attention. I now listen with awareness to the voice of my adolescence, adolescence asking for my attention. Painful memories during those years. I decided to heal my wounds with much love and delicate strength. So yeah, like I oh, said, over the years you got over some things. So you moving forward with life with the two of wands here. 
the five of cups evidently it was a lot of pain and, and a lot of different types of relationships that um were upsetting to you as you were growing up i mean it could even have something to do with your parents you know um maybe not being around like they should have been or something like that and you grew up kind of jaded or jealous of others or something and you learned how to like i said you you learn how to understand in this sense excuse me what adults go through or something like that now that you're older I'm not too sure but you learn how to kind of get over the past not all this hurt and moving forward with happiness and you're not moving in a slow motion of anything or you have no need to be calculated and you know poised and all this you're just like I'm living life, okay? Like I said, with the Four of Cups, I mean, it could also mean that, you know, there isn't anyone in your space at all maybe trying to get with you or something like that. It's either that or you're, like, totally just ignoring it all together. Excuse me, guys. I'm so tired. <laughs> My goodness. So here with the Eight of Swords, that's the constant thinking, wrapping yourself up in all these thoughts um, that aren't good, you know. So this was a lot of pain that you endured and went through when you were younger. And probably to the point to where you didn't have anybody to talk to, you know. It just was like you had to learn how to deal with it, whatever it was. So here are three of cups. Maybe you didn't have a lot of friends, you know. Um, or maybe saying that you still don't have a lot of friends, you know. Maybe stay to yourself. They said, oh, neighborhood friends here. So... Maybe something happened with some old neighborhood friends. With the higher font here in reverse. All of these are in reverse. That's crazy. Um, Interesting. Okay. So the heart of front and the three of cups are reverse. Hmm. I'm kind of stuck because I'm looking at it from two different angles. Like, okay. In terms of Right now, you moving forward, not worried about, you know, um, not worried about a thing. Just trying to live and be, okay? Feel free to be 100% yourself. But with the Hierophant in reverse, and the Three of Cups are reverse, maybe it's saying that... <sighs> Either you, you don't have a lot of friends then or now, or there is something that is going on in the energy of maybe going 
out and having a good time or something like that. And it's falling right here on this low vibrational people. Like, you sense there's problems with them. Maybe they don't believe in God. Maybe they're not grounded. Maybe they're, they do too much, you know, and it just, something is seeping through, um, and, and you see it or something like that, you know, and you're like, eh, you know, I don't know if I should continue to hang out with individuals like you, you know, because, you know, I could fall into a bad space, you know, doing the things that you do, something like that. So. So, here with the Four of Cups, like I said, you're not paying attention to any offer. You have the Four of Cups reverse, and then the Four of Wands reverse. You don't want to work with anybody. You don't want to celebrate with anybody, especially with somebody from your past. Because they hurt you, they disappointed you, you know. You walked away from this relationship. And, um, I guess in terms of love, you know. But in terms of you and your younger self, um, it can be a lot of different types of people, relationships, old friends, just people. Okay. So here with the Queen of Swords, you're this person now that will tell somebody about themselves really quickly because you have healed and... You have woken up and you don't have time for anything that just is not productive. What the hero? Three of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Who are you spending your time with? Who are you building relationships with? Are they healed people? Or are they dysfunctional? Do they know which way they're going in their life? You know, you want to. You want to be on the right path all the time, you know. You've healed, your heart and your mind is aligned, you've been through a lot, you're still standing. I'm still standing, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're happy about it, you know. And you're bright and you're beautiful and yeah. I totally understand if there is someone that, in particular, that you just rather not be around. So here, go back to school, do all the things that you want to do, and so I know sometimes you may want to go out and have a good time and do all you know things that take your mind off of work or just everyday life. You want to be stressful, but if the people aren't giving. Um, productive mature energy or giving the energy you know giving the energy that they are productive and mature there's no real need to make any sort of investment in that you know they don't know which way they're going you know which way you're going you know what you're doing someone got too damn comfortable you know and um oh why am i doing that well, I guess we need a different card. Yeah, Knight of Wands. You're doing things your way, and you're going to keep doing things your way. Okay. I'm going to get this that I haven't used it in a while. Okay. Here we go. Here's the second deck. Yeah, keep working on yourself, honey. Someone just didn't know what they were doing. Kind of like, you know, like they needed to, they needed to heal themselves, you know, like they were immature or something, you know, like here with the page energy, you know, like they didn't know what they were doing, you know. 
with themselves. Like everybody has, you know, childhood wounds. You know, you say like, okay, that teenager that needs attention or whatever. You know, they they have to go and talk to God and pray and, and heal themselves. You know, there's something that's not right with their energy. They have to go mature. Where's the second deck? It's the swords. You see things so clear. And, um, Knight of Pentacle is <laughs> here too. So, it's like maybe once upon a time you felt that you always had to be so strategic. You know, like walking on eggshells and, you know, you don't want to move the wrong way or say the wrong thing, you know. But you kind of grew up and you found a you found the way to say what was on your mind because you knew there were five priests that there was absolutely really nothing wrong with you. Okay, it was the people around you. And now you're in a space where you're comfortable and um giving yourself so much love. And you know what love is. You love yourself. You had a whole heap of burdens there. Page one is in reverse. You had a whole heap of... Maybe at that time you didn't even know what to do, you know? When you were younger... Okay, page of wands, princess of wands, same thing. In reverse. You know, so it was a stage maybe in your life where you you knew what that looked like. And that's why when you went to go hang out with these other people, you're like, I recognize that. Why am I no, 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 no. I cannot be in this type of environment, you know. I know exactly what this is. These people don't know that they're hurt or something or that they're craving attention or something like that. Yeah, they don't know something, you know, or they know, but they, you know, think that no one else sees it, you know, and you see right through it. So, mm. um, what deck should I use now? Um... Well, hmm, it's like my fifth yawn know, season, guys. Mm. Um, I guess I'll just use this one here. It's right in the middle. All right. So, guys, this is the last deck. I appreciate you guys for rocking in here with me. Oh, what it? No, it's not what it do. This is a beep you send me in my van. <laughs> yeah, thank you, if you just <laughs> for rocking in here with me on a you just send me. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, I'm tired. It's time for me to go to bed. But I had to do your video. Appreciate you guys so very much. If you're still here with me, mm -hmm. love you guys. Thank you guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. And thank you. And of course, only if you like. I appreciate it all. All right, here we go. One more time. Mmm, okay. King of Wands, huh? Okay. Maybe that's who you've been spending time with. 
and you're like, hmm, maybe he just needs too much attention, you know, maybe he is a bodybuilder, <laughs> he got all these muscles, and he's full of himself, let me say one, one video, a uh, video, a uh, part over here, for the sworn, one of them said, they're, yep, they are full of themselves, they're full of themselves, and you see right through it, you're like, it's okay, you know, like, yeah, I understand, you know, you have a lot of confidence and all of this and all that, but, like, they're like a little overrated or something, I don't know, and you, you just see through it, so five of pentacles there, and one of these cards, it had lack energy, so, in your your moment of when you were younger, a lot of times you felt left out or like things just didn't add up. Or like I said, people didn't want to hear you out or listen to you they thought something was wrong with you or they thought you were too young. Or it, could, it could be a lot of different things for a lot of different people. And here you have the Eight of Wands, which talks about um, fast action of some sort. So, I guess, it's like when you finally got to a space where you could speak up for yourself and be yourself. And or when you finally, you know realize like when you finally woke up and realize that there was really never anything wrong with you you know the high priestess you know staying connected you know and healing you know that's when things started to move in a different direction for you Because things were very unclear for you, and there was there, it seemed like there was never anything worth anything around you. You know, if if it were people that you were talking to, lovers, or whatever, boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, it was like okay, you know, could even be. You know, a teenage love or something, you know? And you're just like, what is going on? You know, like, uh, you know, teenage love, college love. I mean, I'm just, uh, I guess I'm honing in on, like, this card, this whole young energy, you know? But it could it could surpass that. You could have that, that or a person could have a young energy, you know, that you're dealing with, you know? Um, and you recognize it because you went through it or something like that. But however the case, you felt some sort of lack once upon a time, yes. And when you realize what the the higher from who you are and realize that it was really never you, it was just things that you had to learn how to get over or grow through. You know, you were in a space of, of unclarity or not knowing, like here with the uh, page of one, like you didn't know which way you were going at one at one point two, you know, or you lacked drive, or you know, it was because of people that were around you is why you felt so much lack because there was no passionate energy around you, no nothing worth anything. Damn, the page of ones are not in reverse. Okay. Page of Wands in reverse again. Three times in the same. Oh no, it's this section. But whatever. Page of Wands in reverse here. Page of Wands in reverse here. Page of Wands in reverse here. Okay, so. Like I said, it was just like. It was a combination of you not really even knowing what was going on or which way to go at one point in your life. You know? But. You. You. You did gain that clarity. You got the insight that you needed. Once you matured, you know, and realize that, yeah, maybe you did live in your own bubble. Maybe it was for a reason. Everything's for a reason, you know. And um, 
God had you in that bubble. He still has you in the bubble. You know, <clears throat> you can go to that bubble whenever you choose to go to it. But now you know why you place yourself in those bubbles, you know. Um, and um, it's okay to be in those bubbles. But if you're hurt, you know now how to acknowledge the hurt. Okay. With the Eight of Swords. That was your first or second card out. I forget. It's over here somewhere. Maybe not first or second, but it's right here. <laughs> so, with this at the bottom now, you know, it's just like... You have the Knight of Wands, the Moon, and the Eight of Swords. So, you, you're you totally doing things your way. Okay. Like I said, maybe you're talking to somebody and they don't realize that their actions are, you know, like you just, you see through it. You know, like there's nothing hidden. You know, they want things to be hidden, but no. And with the Eight of Swords here at the bottom still... Um, I'm just going to say that this is just the energy that, that you used to be in, you know, while you were always in this bubble, you know, constantly thinking about the relationships in your life and why they were like this or like that or, you know, so yeah, I, um, I've come to the end of the read. <laughs> so, love you guys. Have a good rest of your night. And, or have a good day. And I'll check you later. Take care. Bye-bye.